today. I am ruining another one of Cooper's favorite <laughs> no, games. No, you're not going to ruin it. No, but today I'm going to be playing Undertale for the first time ever. And I'm going to sit here like a good boy and I'm not going to backseat. I'm not going to cringe. <laughs> Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. You're gonna read it. One day, war broke out between the two races. You hit a button. You hit a button! I was feeling that! My theatrics! Come on! Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. Go get your pillow. Oh, I skipped it again. Megan! Is this me? That's you. Your sweater kind of matches in that that has stripes and yours has stripes. In that it's just a sweater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how threatening I am. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. How original. Golly, you must be so confused. Just a little bit. See that heart? This is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can go strong if you gain lots of LV. Oh, like the Grinch. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Ah. Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. Flowey, I knew you were evil from the get-go. What kind of stupid name is that? In this world, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> Don't be afraid, my child. I am Toriel. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in the fight, strike up a friendly conversation. I will come to resolve the conflict. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, dummy. <laughs> All right, Froggit, I'll give you a chance. I'm going to compliment you. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <gasps> <laughs> I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. I will give you a cell phone. You have cell phones down here? All right. If you have a need for anything, just call. Hopefully not T-Mobile. Probably not getting a connection. Boom. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? No. Yes. <sighs> they always taught me to not take candy from strangers, but what about just candy randomly out in a bowl? Uh, that wasn't covered in my stranger danger class. Uh, nice. Puzzles are easy. Puzzles are so easy. What do you mean? Two gold poggers. Oh. Puzzles are dumb. Looks drew near. <gasps> Friggin' Mike Wazowski. <gasps> I have knife. Hmm. So I fell down this hole. I'm assuming I'm around five years old. And this monster has chosen to adopt me. Should I trust her? For now. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage? Uh, yeah, I'm nosy. Hot goss? Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Oh, she's working on her type five. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. She's trying to go famous on stand-up TikTok. Secretly <laughs> wants to be a stand-up comedian. What's the deal with these kids falling into these holes? A box of kids' shoes in, dis in a disparity Ew. of sizes. Ew, she already had this on hand. Ew, she eats children. I don't know. Or maybe she's amazing and she just has a big heart and she loves helping children in need. Just that could be it too. we'll find out. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. My sweet tooth could never... Like, I honestly could never be intimidated by the size of a sweet thing. <laughs> what is it? Can I have a cookie? Do you have Wi-Fi here? <laughs> Can I play Roblox on your computer? Mom, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, she left it for me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. She shows up. <gasps> I think you should play upstairs instead. The West Wing, it's forbidden. <laughs> hmm. She gone? Not going down to where I'm not allowed to go <laughs> for the third time. Shh. Just one more time. Oh, how is she so fast? It's nighttime. Is she sleeping? I'm a sneaker. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go to the room. I'm gonna go to the room because Toriel's not here. <sighs> she can't see me. It's bedtime. Toriel. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. No! You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <gasps> okay. Toriel, attack 80, defense 80. Knows best for you. I'm gonna die. Just play. <laughs> you couldn't have taken
taken more damage if you tried to take damage. Toriel, come with me. We can show them that monsters aren't scary at all. <gasps> the game is just beginning. It was giving um Law and Order SUV. SUV? <laughs> You know that sound it does? You mean SVU? <laughs> SVU. Law and order SUV, law and order hatchback. Hey, who's there? I got a toy knife on me. Hey, who is it? Turn around and shake my hand. The old whoopee cushion in the hand <laughs> trick. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, he is a human hunting fanatic. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game so much. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> no, please. Please. Absolutely no moving. What's this? <gasps> it's a doll. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Did you move? Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. What you am I supposed to do? Don't move an inch. Warning. <laughs> dog marriage. What? Oh, keys. day keys. Lesser dog appears. Pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Pant, pant. Keep petting. Keep petting. Keep petting the dog. <laughs> he keeps getting taller! Critical pet! Dog excitement increased! You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. It's a Brain take off! Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. <laughs> I love this game so much, dude. <gasps> what a good puppy. Oh! <laughs> oh, strong puppy! It's the greater dog. Oh, no! Be a good boy! Back in. Good instinct. You call the greater dog. It bounds toward you, flecking slobber into your face. I shall pet you. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it's pet by you. It sinks its entire weight into you. Oh, it's gonna crush me. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. <gasps> Goodbye. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> his butt. Wait, come back. I want to be your friend. Look Whoa, your we're at the bar. Am I old enough to be in here? I guess it doesn't matter because uh, none of you are human. Give me a nice ice cold Shirley Temple, please. Thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> Dang. Yo, what did Yo. I walk in on? Welcome to Snowden. In. Snowed in. Snowden. One night is 80 gold. You just spent 80 gold. Did you mean to? <laughs> Here's your room key, bundle up! Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! I must capture you! Papyrus blocks the way. Flirt? He wants to be my friend. But I'm a pasta lover like him. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make you spaghetti. Oh no! Qualities. You're meeting all my standards! <laughs> <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. So I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of my time. Please be the bar. I'm like 10 years old. His house. <laughs> My house! A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boning. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's my room. We could go in and do whatever people do when they date. I'm 10 years old! I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Step one, press your controller's X button for dating HUD. Wowee, I feel so informed. Crime? Egg. Egg? Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. 
that bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. You planned it all. Your dating power. Don't think you've bested me yet. The I, the great papyrus, always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. He's Tobias. He just has like never shorts dude. on. Behold. I love it. No, a genuine compliment. You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit, though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any old pasta. This is artisan's work. You take a small bite. The taste is indescribable. You must really love my cooking. Mm. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Uh, uh, no! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Yep. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I, I mean. I, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. <laughs>